Hello guys, welcome to another video tutorial by No Code Africa. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue building our Messenger application. This is the part two of the Messenger application, and we are just going to be working on the UI for now, right? So we will just try to see how we can quickly implement uh, the the chat screen uh, for our Messenger application. All right, let's do let's do it. Okay, so to do this, we will just go ahead and click on new page, uh, click on create blank, and we'll call the screen chat. And then we'll click on create page. Uh, we will take off the app bar. Uh, yes, we will create our app bar by ourselves. Okay, great. So the first thing we're going to do here is we'll click on the column, click on add a child to the column, add a row. And in the role, we're going to add uh, a couple of things. So um, the beautiful thing is that we had already created something like this before. So we can just go ahead and copy it from the story page, right? So we can just come here and copy it to make our work a bit faster. So I'll just click on chat and then click on, let me delete this role, click on the column and then paste it. So now we have this. And what we now need to do is simply, we're going to go ahead and, 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 and create this scenario, right? So I think we also have that in the story part. So yes, we don't need to also create it again. So just copy this, go to chats, and then click on the column and paste it. Great. So now we have this. Um, let's go ahead and uh, maybe just change the, the colors here. So I'm just going to copy this color here and then click on the the button go to the background the the fill color button and paste it and then i will change the color of the text of the button i'll copy it here and then i'll come here to the button as well go to the text color and then paste it great then for this one i will just go ahead and click on this uh copy the color uh i think which is the color Let's see. Okay, yeah, it's sorry, just white. It's white already. So just copy the color and click on this. Right? Click on this and then go to the fill color and paste it. Great. And then copy the color of the font. Here we copy it and paste it for the text color here good now we have this so uh what next we need to just go ahead and give the entire uh page a background color white so we're gonna wrap this column with uh, a container so we're wrapping the column with a container and we're giving it an infinite width and an infinite height all right so good all right great guys all right so the next thing we need to do this one is not going to take us so long we just create one and then we duplicate it this tutorial is supposed to be very short yes so i just wanted us to have like a, an introductory screen and then that's it so uh let's uh let's go ahead and create this how do we create this quickly we just have to go ahead and click on the column and then add a row so uh, here it is we add the row and inside the row we're gonna add a uh, a cycle image right and then we're gonna add a, we're going to add a, a cycle that's a container and then inside it another container something like that all right so let's look at this um, here we have these let me preview and see what we have it's an image we don't want the image itself we just we don't want the image with the other thing we just want only the image so I'm clicking on the image and then this is it I'll just change it to 3x and then I'll export the file okay great and then the next thing I need to do is uh, I need to just maybe copy this, right? Fine. Now look at this. This is uh, the size of these is what? Uh, I think it's saying here 57.4 by 56. So I will just come here, right? Go to the row and click on here. Add the circle image. Circle image. All right. So I'm going to give the circle image uh, 56 actually or just 57 preferably the diameter is going to be 57 all right so 57 and change from network to asset and then upload the the image that i just downloaded and then that's it then after i've done that the next thing i need to do is uh let's go ahead and then in this row right in this row 
I'm going to put a text before we start working on the other one because I have already copied it. So I just don't want to uh, lose it. So this is it. And the font size is 400 by 16. So we are already on track. So by 16. And then um, the spacing is 16. All right. So we just give it a padding on the left here, 16. And uh, this one, the spacing on the left is 20 so we can just say uh, 20 before we do that let's go ahead and wrap these uh, in, a, in a in a stack so we're wrapping in a stack because we want to be able to put this circle image so let's go ahead and do it it's not a circle image it's a container so 24 pixel by 24 so I'll click on the stack and add a, a container and then I'll click on circle here and then I will say 24 great and then i'm going to go ahead and then add a row inside this uh, container right and in that row i am going to go ahead and add another container the reason i'm adding a row inside that is because i want to be able to center this other uh container all right so this is me copying the cop color of the container the container is 16 pixel by 16. so here i will just change it to circle and then i'll just say 16 then I will just go ahead and paste the color code and that's it. Now I have to go ahead and click on this. That's the row inside the first container and center align it. And that's it. That was why I needed that row. And then now I'm going to click on this, which is their entire uh, container that contains like this is like the entire thing. I'll click on it. Then I will look at the, the distance from the edge. So it's 32 from the edge. So I will just say 32 great and it's there then we need the descent from the top it's 32 again so we would just say padding on the top is 32 so guys that's it we have that so now we need to give our stack a distance from the left so this is gonna be the distance 20 from the left and we say 20 so that's it uh, let's give this row uh, padding from the top uh, okay we don't really need to give the row this is gonna come from a list view so let's wrap this row uh in a list view great so i just wrapped it in a list view because it to be generated from a database all right so then let's look at the distance from here it's 16 so we're gonna give that to this list view 16. great now we already have this we can actually just go ahead and then duplicate it uh, well we can just do it just so that um let me show you what i mean we can just say go uh let's just uh give these maybe let me see what's the padding it's 12 so let's say 12 all right so which is good and then let's go let's go let's go this is it so we will delete it anyways but i just wanted you to see that we have created it all right now that we have this let's go back to story and uh let's just copy these and that's it uh we will come uh, come back to the chats come back to the chat and click on this and paste it all right so this is it we have the same kind of a uh, concept here now right so we will go ahead and then rework on this when we've started the back end and when are we starting the back end right now so i'm going to start the back end um, i'm going to first of all go to firebase uh to start the back end i just need to go to firebase and i'm going to select my uh uh the okay so i'm just gonna pick uh where is it all right so i want to go ahead this is just how to assess your firebase then go to console uh let me just close this and this is it i'll just add this and you've reached the project limit for your account Ooh. okay so i don't have uh more uh more spaces to create projects in uh uh in Firebase. So what I just need to do is I'm going to use uh, another email, right? So, but later on, I will just write to them and tell them, please uh, give me more uh, space to add more project. And they will, yes, because I'm teaching, right? Uh, so uh, I will just go ahead and go to console. And in the console, I will just add this project here. And so this project is called Messenger. Messenger app right in photo flow and then click on continue uh turn on these google analytics for the project click on this and just wait 
right and just wait wait for a couple of seconds and then we will be done uh, provisioning that so the next thing I need to do quickly is I will come here to uh, to uh, Flutter Flow I'll come to Firebase now I need to put the project ID here and that's why I'm doing this I'm gonna click on continue here and then now I have a uh, I have my Firebase project, so I'll click on this icon, go to project settings, uh, I will copy this uh, project ID. Before I take it to Flutterflow, I have to come to users and permissions, click to add a member and say uh, Firebase, Firebase add Flutterflow. That I, now I'm adding Firebase as an editor to this project. That's the only way uh, Flutterflow can assess my Firebase project. Yeah, so that's just how it's done. So the next thing I need to do here is just come over here and paste this and click and connect. Wait for a couple of seconds and it is connected. The next thing I need to do is click on this icon and say next step. Uh, click on enable authentication, click on create user collection and then uh, auto generate config files, generate config files, wait for a couple of seconds. And then when we are done with these, we will just set up the authentication. And uh, and that will be it for now. Yeah, so let's let's see. Uh, we're just gonna set this up, then we will continue everything in the next tutorial. So if I told you, you learned a couple of things from this tutorial, please just go ahead and hit on the like button. And of course, subscribe to this channel if I told you have not already done that. Bing. Great start building and then now that I've done I'm done with this what I need to do quickly is uh, I need to go ahead and uh, there's some things that I need to do here so I have issues it says project has authentication but entry page is not specified so I'll click on this I'll go to entry page what's gonna be my entry page it's gonna be my splash right was there anything like splash mm, yes I think it's gonna be the one I called home uh, so home is gonna be like this yeah so let's change this thing to splash yeah so this is my splash screen so that's it and uh, let's go to our settings so splash then logged in page is my chat all right uh, so that's it so how do we continue from here so when they come here we want this to just wait for a couple of seconds and then they they're taken to account this is where they need to like uh, you know put their email and password to log in or put their email and password to sign up right so we can just go ahead and then uh, let's come here to their splash all right and then click on this right right click on it and say okay no just not right click just click on it we now want to add an action to the scaffold so we will click on and this and say on page load all right on page load what should happen we want it to uh, let's go ahead and then uh, let's say wait delay wait delay uh, so we want to make it wanted to wait for a couple of seconds maybe two seconds right then after two seconds I'm opening the editor I want it to navigate to uh, the account right account screen so i can just say i want it to maybe slide up and 500 seconds 500 milliseconds right and then that's it so it will come to account and then let's set up things that happens in the account so here in the account what i'm just going to do quickly is um this is it i'm going to phone number or email so i would just say email i'm changing this text field to email uh then here is password i'm just changing it to password great and then for the create account let's start with the create account so i'm clicking on this and then i'll click on add an action all right and then i will say uh back in and database firebase authentication right mm, where is it create account right and then authentication provider is email email field is email uh, password field uh oh password field it's not highlighted the reason is because this text field we have not said that it is a password field so I select the password field and then scroll down and say it is a password field I turn on this all right so that's very important to do so I now click on here and select password and that's it so we have we have done creating account 
so then for login we just click on this go to uh, actions add an action say backend then firebase authentication then login then we'll say email provider email field is email password field is password and that's it so when it logs in it's going to take the user to the chat so that's it that's it guys that's how to set up your authentication and at voila all right guys uh this particular tutorial wasn't intended to be very long this is just part two in the next one we will uh create a we will start working on the different uh functionality to just set the whole thing running so we were not uh, going to design everything we will design the account uh the profile the profile you know screen kind of and then we will just work on some other things but what i really want us to dwell on is a dynamic chatting scenario which is embedded in this place this one and uh here where the users get to chat all right guys okay so we will get to see in the next tutorial hit uh, the subscribe button and like this video as well thank you very much see you in the next tutorial bye for now